Red Hat Insights, an event-driven Ansible. Now this is another one of those use cases for scalable infrastructure automation. This time we're using event-driven Ansible. Now with Controller, we could use Controller and Red Hat Insights to basically run compliance checks on our infrastructure. So we could always get the compliance checks and then we can go and apply the playbooks to remediate them. But now with Event Driven Ansible and a source plugin for Event Driven Ansible into Insights, this becomes a lot easier and a lot quicker. So let's have a look at the whole package, right? The whole platform, Event Driven Ansible is now part of that platform since the release of 2.4. And with Event Driven Ansible, we have a ton of source plugins and this list is growing every single day. So we have the ability to use different sources for our events. And if we touch back on the basics of Event Driven Ansible, what do we need? We need a source, we need rules, and we need actions. So let's head over to Automation Hub, where we can actually go and look for that collection. So we're gonna be looking for our Insights Source Plugin collection, and here we go, we have our Insights EDA. So inside of the collection, you can see, you know, we have all of our content in terms of what we need. We need the source plugin. So this allows us to ultimately listen to events or listen for events from, from insights. And based on that, we can go and we can trigger. So if we have a look at things like our examples here, we're gonna do something similar to this where we're gonna use ServiceNow um, at the end of this workflow to ultimately bring this intelligence in. So let's go have a look at our EDA controller. Our EDA controller, we have our project set up, we have our decision environments running, and ultimately we have our rulebook activated. So the project is just like our normal type of projects that we work with automation controller. It's a single source of truth. We have a decision environment, which basically runs all the collections that we need, as well as Ansible rulebook inside. And ultimately we now need our rulebooks. So our rulebook is currently running. It's in a running state. So what is it doing? It's listening for events and it's listening to insights. Now let's quickly go back into Red Hat Insights where we're looking at our RHEL systems. We're going to set up our integration and we're going to use our integration for Event Driven Ansible. And what are we going to be triggering with Event Driven Ansible? What are we looking for? You can see here that we have a webhook pointing to the endpoint and if we go and have a look at our event logs in terms of what we're listening for, we are going to be listening for things like malware and things like policies that are being triggered and any type of drift baselines. All of this is gonna be using a webhook back to EDA and ultimately we can trigger. So if we have a look at our controller now, we can see that an event has actually taken place. We can go into that event, we can see the payload that's come through. In this instance, the payload is about malware. And from here, what do we need? We need an action. So the action is to run a certain job template. So if we click on that job template, we go into controller here, you can see the job template and this template is obviously going to create a ticket. We can see that this is what this template is about. So this is fact gathering, this is enrichment, right? So the webhook comes in, the template gets triggered, we gather all of the information around that incident and now let's go have a look at our service now. We can see a ticket's been created. So that ticket will now have all that relevant information based on that event data. And this is just using Event Driven Ansible and Insights.